Air signs, hello. It is time for your shadow of judgment. Y'all are last. I think you were last last time, but I can't remember. Anyway, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. For any of you who are new, what is Shadow Judgment? This is where I look at the nooks, the crannies, the four corners, what's in the circle, and what is out of the circle. And just a little boop on your nose about what's going on around you. The shadow side, the subconscious, the things you were unaware of going on about, right? King of Pentacles or Reverse is your card for the week. Let's see what's coming up for you. Gemini, you're up first. Crazy bastards. We got the King of Wands and the Three of Pentacles Reverse. Hmm. Are you dealing with a fire sign? Who's got their back turned because they're doing other things? Other than arguing? What? Oh, Lord. Yeah, he's not even trying to. Like, I'm not even, dude. I'm not even. Like, I, I, I'm too cranky to go near that shit. Um, might be trying to make very particularly important decisions because their emotions are all flustered up. The Queen of Cups, she's already burned somebody's rabbit in a boiling pot. Whatever can't be worked out, it's like too much. Someone would rather just take their cups and go. Like, way too much. Ooh. Oh, hold up. I forgot the Emperor right here as well. Oh, okay. Okay. Like, oh, nah uh Nuh uh No, I'm trying to heal myself. I'll lose my shit when it comes to you. Some of you, Gemini, could be in more of a masculine energy than anything right now, which is probably why the Emperor and the King of Wands is up here. Either that or you're dealing with a fire sign. Leo... Definitely could be Aries, Sagittarius, also Libra, Gemini, Aquarius up here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Mm. It's like someone caught somebody having too much of a good time and that's what fucked everything up, right? Alright, so this King of Cups, right? Someone might be looking back at what shit happened in the past and they're holding kind of a grudge. But the crazy types, it's like, I will make sound decisions, but then in the back of their head, it's just kind of like, I remember when this bitch ate my sandwich in third grade. She needs to die, you know. And that, like, between those two, it's, like, not healthy. If they're two separate people who are dealing with each other, they're not in a good relationship. Because one makes sound decisions and the other one probably lost their mind a few years ago. But there's definitely not a good connection right here. Like, someone saw the ugly side of another person and that made them realize that, you know, like, the relationship was bad. And that's why someone doesn't know what to do from here on out. There could be an emperor right here who's trying to heal themselves. And they're still a scorned person and they're willing to cut out this relationship because they don't see any other option in this. Like, their options are kind of limited. They don't know which ones it takes. The best course of action is just nip it in the bud and just let that shit die a naturally horrible death. You know, but this also leaves the world reverse where someone's still stuck on the idea that things didn't work out because this three of cups is what spilled shit over. It was like just too much bullshit. Hmm. Yeah, they're celebrating, but it could also mean vices partying too much as well. Like this bitch over here is looking way too hard at the sky, like. Some. And it's like, mm, who the fuck is that Betty right there, I wonder? What should we look at? Queen of Cups reversed. What's up with this Queen of Cups reversed? Why is she boiling people's rabbits? She's got secrets. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer once again. That they are looking over. Because they feel betrayed, almost. Gemini. They feel betrayed when it comes to resurrecting something. Or having the right idea about something. These secrets that they're looking over is what caused the treachery. It 
but they still feel like they could bring something to fruition or bring something back from the dead. So it's just kind of like, you do know that like 10 swords in the back should be enough to murder a motherfucker, right? You know, just saying. Pull some more for you. I mean, it led to a lot of petty arguments. Someone trying to have the patience to deal with the other person. But that person was a moocher and didn't really, like, give anything back. They took more than anything. And that, Lemur's card was the wrong thing to do. Because now someone's single without this person. Much more happier being by themselves, too. Hmm. Very interesting, Gemini. Alright. That's your shadow. Right. Now we're going to move on to Libra. 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 Libra just wants to go fucking home and sit in front of a computer and not do anything at all or better yet just be lazy and lounge and not do anything. Ah, oh, I appreciate that sentiment for the laziness. I really do. Only because my dad's a Libra. Oh my god, you guys, I'm pretty sure that my neighbor is back on meth again, and it's like, god damn it, once again, dude, really? Which is like, that's unfortunate, it's like, every time I get a Libra who's a neighbor, they're always on fucking meth, and it's like, why? Like, why is it always that particular sign? Like, it, and why do they have to move in next to me? Like, I've had, like, three motherfucking Libras live next to me, and all of them go to meth. And I only think he went to meth... Ace of Cups reverse, someone's giving love. It's because he started talking about God and shit. Ooh, not giving love to a broken relationship. Or not giving love to a choice he didn't pick. Guys, got your card up. But yeah, I, I totally think he's back on the meth. Because he was talking about God. And then he started doing this thing where it's like, you know, we've argued before. This dude's actually left my house because I've argued with him. Which is not my problem. It's, I like, you know, I live here. You know, I pay the bills and shit. Or whatever. But it really doesn't matter. But yeah, it was like... I don't know. It was almost like he was starting to argue or something. And, you know, my husband and me, we've already had this whole conversation with him or whatever, right? And it was just like my husband stepped in right before he could say something else after I said, like, oh, well, maybe that's not the case or whatever, and he was just like, maybe there are flying fish, and it totally distracted him, which we both thought was kind of weird, because it's just like, yeah, I don't know what's up with the guy, but it's like, then he was kind of dressed like a hobo. Just a little bit. Speaking of hobos, ooh. Ooh, Libra. You have some choices right now very very interesting choices sorry about talking about my neighbor but it's like you know my cats don't care and I'm not telling my coworkers because they don't need to know anything I'll tell you guys because I like you neighbor you had a lot of fucking choices in front of you and none of them look good to you None of them look good to you because you still look... Because uh, I feel like... I feel like you don't want to end up looking like someone who's begging. But there are a lot of pentacles on this. Like, there's only two. There's only two. But it's six and ten. So that right there is like 16 fucking pentacles. Right? Like... What was it? We got like... Five cups plus seven. So that's like 12... Pentacles are outnumbering, like, cups. Material shit's outnumbering cups. I'm just putting that out there. Now, anyway, we got the Ace of Cups with you guys, right? But it's reversed, so someone's not giving their love out. They want something to die. So that way they feel completed or whatever. Where they're trying to close out something to do with family? But it... it Whatever, it, whoever, whatever, what it could be, who it is, I don't know. Someone's acting like a page and giving very bare minimum in order to successfully make this house a home, right? Now, you are keeping your guard up to the Ace of Cups reverse. That's so fucking weird. Like, why would you keep your... Like, I know it's not 
I know it's aimed at you, but it, it's not love, so why would you... Why are you guarding yourself about not beginning something? Like, the, like I don't know. I haven't been, like, I, like you know, 32 hours straight, right? Just uh, no sleep because it's been a long 32 hours. I'm probably going to try to go for 50 or 60 or some shit like that, right? But it's like you guys are keeping your guard because you don't want to be shut down or you, someone's keeping guard against you because they know you're going to shut them down, right? And it's like, this person's got their guard up because, like, they've already given so much to the person on this side, you know? Like, the Six of Pentacles has you in it because of the scales. But look, this dude is offering to somebody and not to this other person. This other person, yeah, they got a red in their shirt but it's very minimal but there's still enough to ignore them in order to give somebody who they thought was like lesser and now it's like someone's regretting that like a motherfucker because it was like i really gay because this person gives the bare minimum you know the king of pentacles is over here too he might as well just be a page upright you know if he's gonna act like that he might as well be like this right what Was that in the song? I guess so. Thanks for screwing me up. Yeah, okay, it's in the it's in the song. Anyway, now this lover scenario has occurred where you're separating from somebody who you had a really strong connection with, or you had to make a choice between one or the other, and that's left you with a lot of shitty options. Making you feel like, you know, you have nothing to offer. That's just weird because I grew up with phones that rang like that. But it's like... This King of Pentacles offers you nothing, too. They're expecting something, like a debt to be paid. Whereas over here, this Page of Pentacles is just like... I can't tell if you're dealing with two Earth signs who neither of them are giving to you. Or if you're trying to debate on whether you want to look like a beggar and look like you don't know how to get something done because everything is shitty. Either way, I think you're gonna start a fight. <laughs> like, I tell the Gemini all the time, but no, it's you. It's you this week. I feel like you're gonna start a fight. Dut. 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 That just spilled out, so. There's something you're looking over that's giving you anxiety, but it gave you a wish fulfillment right here. You got exactly what you wanted. Right? Which is a sour-ass Queen of Pentacles? <laughs> what? Okay. Do you feel like... Okay, that's the counterpart to the King of Pentacles, right? Unfaithful spouse. Overbearing mother. Somebody who interferes with shit. Like, the King and Queen are both here. Ooh, tower. This is a book. We got a tower moment where someone's, like, facing their... What keeps them secure when it comes to offering love and they realize, I got problems. I'm boiling people's rabbits alive because someone doesn't love me enough. You know? Trying to look back on all those actions but actually taking the proper effects to rectify what has happened because a lot of bad karma has come on its way, Libra. That's your card. And something does need to be offered. Something of value. I don't I don't think it's monetary, but that offer could be taken or someone could take the door. It's one of the two. It's really up to you, Libra. That's an interesting read for you. I feel like these are taking longer because I'm way too absent-minded. And it's horrible, but whatever. Alright, Aquarius, it's your turn, and then I'm going to go sleep or some shit. Or maybe I'll just drink a ridiculous amount of coffee and stay up and just giggle at work all day as I do a double. <laughs> Let's see what's up with you, Aquarius. Oh, a bunch came out. You're trying to figure out what to do after leaving a shitty situation that you have cut out. You still got qualms about this, but... That shit was way too much of a burden for you to, like, deal with anymore, right? It left you feeling like, ah, uh, nah, nah, nah. Move, slave! You know? <laughs> it's like she's screaming, move, peasant! I don't need you in my way! Ma'am, you're sitting in the throne, you're still in my way. <laughs> 
Oh, you got your guard up, darling. Yeah. That was, like, fucking trippy. Alright, uh, da 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 Oh, you're gonna be pissed this week. Come on, it's Shadow of Judgment time. Alright, Aquarius! Mmm. You got options on how you're going to move on from your three cups getting spilled. Taking your two cups with you. But I feel like you're going to keep guard and not let anybody know that shit. Because it's like you're looking back on this stuff from back in the day. And you realize, you know, this this is going to become the exact same shit I just dealt with over again. I need to be twice as fucking dickish in order to get these people to leave. Because it seems like you cut out an unfaithful spouse where things weren't going anywhere. Or at least this person expected shit to happen. Like, you recognize that it's a really bad relationship, and it was burdensome. And you do what you do best, Aquarius. You ghosted that motherfucker. You took off like a bat out of hell. This is not even a word. You're just like, you know what? Nah. And then you... <laughs> then you just disappeared. Which is just like, you know, that makes sense. I don't blame you. Like, if you need the ghost, ghost. But damn, do you really have to do it every time sometimes? Cause you guys seem to do it to everybody. Like, no one can even get mad at you for doing it because you just do it to everybody. Like, at that point, you really can't be mad. Like, Aquarius is the only sign who I'll ever accept ghosting from. Because it makes sense why they ghost. They just can't put up with that shit. It's like the silent treatment. You know? Like, I, I understand if I'm an Aquarius is better than anybody, but I'm an Aquarius moon, so that's probably why. I don't know. Either way. It still makes kind of a lot of sense with you because you were, I feel like, mentally blocked by whoever it was that you were dealing with before. They left you bitter. They left you harsh. They left you feeling like, you know, you'll take anything out on anybody because it'll at least help you get the aggression out and you recognize that, you know, that's not healthy for you. You definitely saw how that was making you feel and how it was causing you to behave making you feel like you need to watch your back or something man this music's kind of ominous for that shit can we like tone it up a little bit please phone let's see what's up with this queen of pentacles aquarius let's see what's up with her what's her problem why she got her panties in a bunch she won't offer anything of value she's stalling on it because she's got her own problems in her head. All in her head, though. All in her head, right? Which is like, you know, that that's the bad karma. And left with a lot of indecisions. One of them being not offering their cup up, being kind of spoiled. Flailing around like a freaking weirdo at a Lamash beat where nobody's at because there's no music playing. Trying to whack whoever they can. You know. And then act like, I didn't mean to do it, I'm so sorry, here, take this as an apology, and I, I like, I love you, and shit. It's just like, you know, you just, like, they, they barely know how to kiss enough ass not to get their ass beat for shit. Right? Like, yeah! That's exactly what the fuck I said! They know it just enough to get their ass out of an ass beating, which is well fucking deserved. Oh my goodness, this person is just all sorts of crazy haziness. This person. Yeah, they're not, and, and they're just not going to do anything out of the ordinary. Like, they're still going to go for booty, and they're still going to, like, cause disruption between the two of you for searching that booty. Like, you guys are probably dealing with somebody you don't even want anything to deal with, and that's why you ghosted, because they come after you. This is the person who's probably caused you to jump on the roof, and then you had to fight them to the death, right? Like, you've been trying to get away from this person for so long, and they keep chasing you because they've never met an alien before. And it's like, cool, but they don't understand that, like, aliens aren't pets either? Hmm. Interesting. But, air signs, that's your shadow of judgment this week. Sorry I'm scatterbrained, but it's like, uh... You know? But, 
If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, no pressure, though. Definitely not for me. It's up to you. Your choice, really. But I love you guys, and I will see you later. Thanks for accepting my weirdness, and I love you. Bye-bye.